Hi guys, this is going to be a quick video using Final Cut Pro X and we're going to be editing some bland GoPro footage on an overcast day. Now, I've had a question about this a number of times, especially people from the UK where they tend to have a lot of overcast days and they've got footage from their multi-rotors or their aircraft and they just want to make it um, uh, pop out a bit more. Uh, this is a video I used in my last clip. The irony was I didn't actually correct this. So um, what you saw in the other clip, I didn't actually do what I'm going to do now. I tend not to edit my videos as in color correct them, etc., or fix up the exposure unless I absolutely have to. So I tend to be lazy like that. But having said that, look, if you want to do it, it's pretty easy to do. So what we'll do, we'll start with this clip here. I'll just copy that and paste it there. So we've got two clips that are exactly the same. And what we want to do is just resize these. Uh, so we'll go with this first one here. We'll make that 50%. And we'll move him in the X direction that way. And we'll do the next one too. We'll make that 50%. And I'll move that in the opposite direction. So we can see what it is that I'm doing. Next thing I'll do, I'll bring that back in again. About there. Next thing I'll do is make this a little bit smaller. Okay, so the first thing I tend to tackle when I'm doing this is I, I'll usually uh, go for the um, exposure. I want to try and get that right. So what we'll do, we'll work with this clip here and I'll add a, another color adjustment here and I'll go through and edit that. So first thing I'll do is make sure I've selected my uh, exposure. I'm going to open up my video scope on this one and what it'll show me is basically the video um, as in where the highlights are as in the, color, the uh, brightness range. This is the exposure that we're actually looking. So over here, this represents black and this represents white. So at the moment, if you have a look at this picture here, it's not using the full uh, range that's actually available to us, which means basically our blacks here aren't black and our highlights aren't highlighted and hence why you have such a um, bland looking, looking picture. So what we'll do, we'll start with the highlights. I'll bump those up a bit. Maybe go up to about there. And then what we'll do is do the blacks and we'll reduce those a bit. So over here, if you have a look really carefully, I've actually cropped some of the blacks out. So the blacks have been completely washed out, but that's all right. because I'm trying to make a, a little bit more of a punchy sort of a, uh, a video. So we'll go back to our highlights again. We can push those up a bit. So that's not looking too bad there. We'll get rid of our video scope so we can see what we've got. And as you can see, already we've made a reasonable improvement there. Um, that's a lot better than the video here. And our blacks are black and our highlights, we haven't lost any details there. So it's all looking quite good. Next thing I'll do is I'll play around with the, um, I'll go back in here again, is the saturation. And what I want to do is just bump up the saturation a bit more. If you go too high, you can see what's happening there. It's just way, way, way too high. You just want to bump it up a touch. I reckon about there. So I'll get rid of that. And I'll just zoom in a bit on this. So looking there, you can see the difference between the two um, images. Obviously, look, it's, it's not a very good day. Um, the grass and everything is all dried up because of uh, the hot summer that we've just had. But you can see the difference between the video as in what it was like before and what it's like now. So there you go. You can see the difference before and after. That just looks a little bit washed out, whereas this looks a little bit more punchy. And obviously, you can go into this even further and actually do proper color correction and try and get your colors right but this is really a quick way if you just want to bring your video exposure range into something that uh, looks a little bit better this would be the way you'd go about doing it there's other ways you could obviously tackle this but this is the way I would do it having said that look I, I don't do much color correction on mine I tend to be quite lazy because I'm really hard pressed to uh, get videos out and um, also squeezing some flying and some 
R&D on different projects and stuff that we've got going. In any case, I hope this helps with your GoPro footage, especially on those days where it's overcast and the video does look a little bit bland. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and I'll catch you guys later.